Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. Today is July 20th, 2024. We're going to do a um, full moon energy connection for you. It will be general, but focused on you, Gemini, my big brain Gemini. So uh, today is the 20th of July, 2024. Full moon tomorrow, uh, right around 6 a.m., Briefly, the energy of the moon as it gets uh, completely full will be in Capricorn and then move into Aquarius. So the energy has been interesting as far as how I've been connecting with it. So let's see what shows up, what may be coming to the surface, uh, energies around you that you can expect uh, some changes or dynamic situations around the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Messages for the Gemini. I will also uh, use my conjure deck, so I like to use that sometimes around the full moon to get some um, additional messages for you, Geminis. Here we go. First message for Gemini is the energy of the magician. Uh, so the magician is, uh, as far as sun signs goes, it connects with an Aries, but the magician is the magician. You see the tide pool here? Maybe I need artificial light. Let's see. There's some. All right, so you see the tide pool here. Um, it's an energy of having all the tools that you need and being able to connect them and get things done. This is the, a positive card for you, Gemini. However, it can also uh, connect you around things that you know may not be what they seem. So just uh, pay attention to the energy. We need more clarity, obviously. Next, we have clarity. Uh, so this is a card that would say, be careful, pay attention. Uh, this is a card of consequences around some of you, Gemini. You definitely need to pay attention to the people that you're dealing with. Um, also, you need to pay attention to your own, uh, you know, behavior and integrity. This card says, you know, if you are trying to pull anything off right now, Gemini, it ain't going to work. Or if somebody's trying to pull something off on you in regards to a lower vibration activity, uh, not honest or direct, then you're going to uh, need to know about that and listen to your inner voice. You should have some uh, feelings about that already. This is the energy, wow, of uh, feeling like you've been left out on the curb, uh, you know, not getting a fair shake. For some of you guys, it could be around um, around a relationship and or uh, your finances. You see how this person is sitting outside in the street and there's the door. Uh, you know, this is a... Uh, in, in, Technically, this card would also ask me to say the illusion of lack, you know, feeling like you have less than you really do. But if you feel it, it is real, Gemini. So let's continue. We need to get find out what this is all about. Whew. Next, we have a water sign. This could be connected to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have an earth sign. I had a feeling it was gonna get crowded in here. Here's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So here's two options for some of you, Gemini. If you've got something going on with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, an Aries, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and any of the stuff I was just talking about resonate, resonates, there you go. Now this is gonna be your karma around the energy of the full moon, uh, Gemini. And it is, uh, you know, you're, you're behind. Uh, you're trying to catch up, um, especially where it speaks to your finances. You know, your finances are not in front of you. They're really following you. And whenever your money is following you, that usually means you're behind. So there you go. Uh, that's going to be something to pay attention to, uh, you know, catch up. You can do that. It's a message you can catch up. You can uh, next, we have the energy of you showing up. Some of you, Geminis, may be going back to school or learning something or, uh, you know, doing something to clear all of this, to make this better by adding to your skill set, by um, connecting with different um, things that you can do to manifest. Um, it literally can be learning. 
Next, we have the energy of melancholy. So, Gemini, you're not real thrilled about what's happening. Some of you are like, oh, crap, why do I have to keep dealing with this? If it's around a water sign, an earth sign, a fire sign, Aries, you may be just like, I can't keep coming to this place with them. It's not working. Uh, I don't like it. If it's around something that they've done or something you've done to them, it's the same principle. This energy is melancholy. It's like, darn, I got to do something different or connect with people that are doing something different. One or the other or maybe both. Now, the unknown variable for you, Gemini, is you. Uh, another air sign. Hope and inspiration. Remember your power. This is... Um, this could be literally another air sign that is an unknown variable in some situation you're dealing with. If you have a Libra, a Gemini, an Aquarius, and you have something going on with them, whether it connects with this or not, their energy is here. Then we have take, take care of yourself. If you're exhausted, uh, you Geminis with that big brain, sometimes you don't sleep as much as you need to. Take, take care of yourself. Follow up on the things you need to around resting your mind, turning that noise off and getting some good rest. Final card is uh, the energy. You're going in the right direction. Many of you Geminis have got a, you know, a big load to hold, but you're going in the right direction. Have faith. Show up. Be powerful. And you're headed towards this, Gemini. If you're not already there and working on just maintaining this energy, then you're headed in the right direction. That's a beautiful card. I'm so happy to see it for you. All right, let's give Gemini a conjure message. Now, this is going to be, we'll see what this connects with. Because uh, this stuff on the tarot is very interesting. All right, so we have the salamanders. Salamanders are always lucky. Now, this deck is uh, Appalachian Trail, Dream Interpretation, which, you know, kind of folklore energy. Sorry about the dog. So you have the salamander and a relationship. Very positive. Loki Joseph, come here, buddy. So the salamander energy is a, is a good omen. It's a, an energy of... Uh, having uh, possibilities of good luck and good love and then this card is absolutely around happiness and luck so it's turning gemini sorry about loki forgive him all right blue hill tarot please comment let me know what's going on in your world gemini and uh subscribe to blue hill tarot hope to see you again soon take care